Children, family, children, family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about exactly what's taking place with USC and the overhaul of their defense. Listen, let me say this first. Let me make this statement clear. There were a lot of people that said Lincoln Riley won't do it. He's been known for just having lost in the sauce defenses. And, and, you know, he's constantly operated like that. This is the way he's going to go. It won't change. I've heard national analysts say that. I heard national media say that. And right now, let me salute. Let me just go ahead and salute Coach Lincoln Riley for doing everything that the media said that he won't do, everything that the media said that he can't do. Let me just make that clear. That's the number one thing. Number two, the staff that USC has put together, Lincoln Riley, we could say that, is Jennifer Cohen uh, behind it, but we can say it's Lincoln Riley. We, I think it's an effort, a joint effort on both of their parts, all, everybody's part, to really just move and groove in a direction of exceeding expectations. Right now, if you would have told me that this time last year, not even this time last year, at the beginning of the season or midseason, when we looked lost in the sauce, looked like we couldn't stop anybody, if you would have told me that we would have put together a staff like this with MVPs all over the field from a staff perspective, it is absolutely incredible. Now, you guys already know how I feel about um, certain defenses that, whether it's Utah, whether it's whoever it is, that has less star star power on the defense but have more coaching than anything and more developers than anything. Let me tell you guys something. USC right now has the best staff put together in college football. I'm going to talk about that real quick. I want to go in depth a little bit more about uh, the new defensive coordinator, co-defensive coordinator. That's kind of a new development as well. Um, initially, you guys know when I brought it up, uh, it was defensive. Well, it was defensive line coach slash run game coordinator, but he's co-defensive coordinator Eric Henderson. But I want to go through these names real quick as far as the staff. But I want you guys to take a listen and a look at Coach Eric Henderson because I'm telling you right now. When I watched this yesterday, I would absolutely run through a wall for Coach Eric Henderson. I want you guys to take a listen to some real quick. This is Eric Henderson making a speech at the University of South Carolina, and it just ran chills down my down my back. And also, I want you after that, I'm going to show you guys something as well. Listen to this real quick. Uh, you know, went to school at Georgia Tech. Lost my mom when I was nine years old. Win with our people. Right? And the star of the team is the team. Period. Got a lot of individual stars. The star of the team is the team. Now, if you can take that concept and apply it to your situation that you have here, something special, I truly believe that South Carolina is going to be the team this year. I'm not saying it because I'm here. You know, as a young guy, you know, coming from, from nothing, came from New Orleans, right? Um, you know, went to school at Georgia Tech. Lost my mom when I was nine years old. She had cancer. Never met my daddy a day in my life. All right. I'm just got to stop it right there. Man, listen, already when you start to see this guy's story, Eric Henderson's story, I mean, it seals chill bumps down my spine. And his story is incredible. I'm not going to go into it all because I want to talk about the staff that was put together. But just listen just a little bit to some of the things. I'm going to fast forward to here a little bit. I just want you to kind of hear some of the things that Eric Henderson is talking about here. Listen to this. We compete with our schemes, man, but we win with our people, right? And the star of the team is the team, period. Got a lot of individual stars. The star of the team is the team. Now, if you can take that concept and apply it to your situation that you have here, something special. I truly believe that South Carolina is going to be the. I got to tell you something, man. I am lost in the sauce right now. Um, what I'm hearing right now from Eric Henderson, and you look at this whole staff put together, and, and I'm going to show you the type of notoriety that already USC is getting from this particular hire. This is a this is a post. Let me remove this out of the way. But this is a post right here yesterday that Aaron Donald. I don't know if you can see that name, Aaron Donald. That's that's who he coached, big-time pro bowler Aaron Donald. And this was a post. You can barely see it, but this is my man, USC Priority. Uh, usually when guys make commitments 
or, you know, new coaching staff is introduced. Me and my man, USC Priority, we kind of do what we call collaborate. But we did this. He did this post yesterday, attached me to it. And you see here, Aaron Donald posted that. And I'm just saying it's not about the Aaron Donald thing for me. But here's what it's about. When you got a guy like that, do you know how many defensive tackles follow Aaron Donald all across this country? Guys like a Bear Alexander, guys just, I mean, you name it. Even even guys like a Walter Nolan. And from a recruiting standpoint, for Aaron Donald to post that post that up and put it on his story, you guys can go to a story and probably find it right now. But for him to post that up right now and to really have that information out, that's just attracted all types of recruiting activity for the USC football program. And I'm telling you right now, I am absolutely excited. I'm absolutely ecstatic uh, for what USC is doing right now. And, oh, for those who are wondering, uh, Coach Nua, Coach Nua is still here. And he, apparently he looks like he's going to be the defensive the uh, defensive end coach. And so you guys know Coach Roy Manning was coaching those defensive ends, but it looks like Coach uh, Nua will be the defensive end coach. And I'm glad, I'm absolutely glad. I love Coach Nua. I think he's done a phenomenal job. You guys know that, you know, Aiden Hutchinson, that, you know, he was at the University of Michigan. He plays that spot, that end spot. So we know that he can coach up those end spots very, very well. So shout out to Coach Nua. Much love to him. I appreciate everything that he's done uh, for this program, hanging in there. And so that is Coach Nua. But I want you guys to tap in with me, man. I want to know from you guys, how are you guys feeling about this staff? And over the past few months, look at this. Look who USC has hired right here. You got Doug Belt. I mean, it, it, is this unbelievable or is it unbelievable? You got a coach like Doug Belt that was hired. Then you got Coach Eric Henderson, which is incredible. Then you got Coach DeAnton Lynn, which is incredible as well. So, man, look, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys can tell me what you think. And you see it here. Let's see if I can pull this up. I got him in here between here, I know. Coach Matt Inch. And then you got Coach Matt Inch from North Dakota State. All of these guys are masters in defense. Uh, Doug Belt, let me tell you about him. You guys already know that he is a master recruiter. Um, Georgia was trying to hire him actually before they hired Dante. And that's the kind of guy that Doug Belk is. You guys know that he's going to be coaching the defensive backs. So I think that's going to be locked and sealed and delivered. Still no word on um, – from, from the time I'm recording this right now, there's no word on Taylor Mays. Uh, there were some people asking me about him. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything yet. But right now, currently, and I hope he stays. I hope he at least coaches the safeties. But uh, right as of right now, I haven't heard anything. But we got Doug Belt. We got Matt Entz, um, who was a North Dakota State coach. He was multiple um, DCs across the country um, before he became the actual coach of North Dakota State, who, was, who he happened to lead to three championships. Uh, appearances. So we're talking about a team right now that absolutely has superstars all across this board. If you guys can find another staff that's better than what USC has right now on the defensive side, listen, holler back at me. I want to know. I want to see it because right now we're talking about the number one, the best, the best defensive line developer right now in the country. Um, and, and Eric Henderson, listen, it's straight up go time. And you couple him with Sean Newell. Are you serious? Uh, USC is absolutely moving and grooving right now. So listen, we can expect some flips. I saw some decommitments immediately after. Um, I think that was in Missouri. He committed. It was an Alabama guy committed to Missouri. I seen him decommit. So listen, I'm not saying any names yet. We can expect some flips. I, I believe we can expect some flips because this guy is a big time guy. So listen, you guys already know we talked about this plenty of times. Uh, there were some frustrations as it relates to NIL, but I can guarantee you one thing. USC start really winning. USC start putting a product on the field. Those guys will start seeing their future opposed to the right now immediate thing. Uh, and what I mean by that is immediate NIL money. They, we do the NIL thing, but you guys already know how USC NIL works uh, once you get here. They're not just d doing what some programs are doing. You guys already know they had the sanctions that came up with Florida State. But I can tell you one thing. We'll start getting the guys that really see their future opposed to just immediate type of stuff, man. So you guys can hit me in the comment section. You guys can tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Drop those comments in the comment section. What do you guys think about USC's new staff right now? Is it go time or is it go time? 
Is it on and popping? Is it on and popping? Man, look, you guys hit me in the comments. You guys tell me what you think. You guys already know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, listen, everybody stay blessed. Don't forget, I told you guys to keep the faith. You got to keep the faith. But don't forget to get up, get out, and make some things happen. Until later on, fight on, fight on, fight on.